Hello, welcome to a board deck and dice first play of. <laughs> Where's the camera? There, <laughs> a thief's fortune, which is on Kickstarter from Artipia Games and kind of a uh, conveyor belt engine building game. So you'll build an engine, but ask cards from this side, which is your this is your future, this is your present, this is your past, which will be a scoring area. Ask cards come into your kind of tableau. They push cards along. You can only have four in this bit, so as soon as the fifth comes in, it pushes it out, and then that is only good for scoring and cannot be used in my engine again. So there's all sorts of cards that come out, some that let you manipulate your order, some that let you manipulate resources that you have in the future, because uh, cards in the future don't come into your present until uh, all, the, um, all the resources on them are gone. And there are cards that let you add resources to cards in your future, so it says ones you don't want to get just yet, you want to save for later, you can keep on adding resources to them to kind of stopgap them along. Uh, this is just the resource pile on a scoreboard. We have the locations, which are powers that riff off when you do something specific, you get something. Events are one-off scoring cards, as you can choose to activate it to get points immediately. And characters are your engine, your proper engine as it goes. You tap them to use them, hopefully riff off your locations. This one, spend one uh, genie lamp. Might not be a genie lamp, might be a standard, might be a fake. Aladdin taught me well, to get one point. So obviously I've done really well by choosing cards that give me plenty of genie. Oh, I've got three, that's okay. I've got them from uh, other effects. There's kind of been a kind of brief draft and I didn't tell you the most exciting thing is that I have the game show. Hello. Hi. Fiona and Amy, Amy and Fiona. And uh, so we're going to play this together. I've played games with you before though, at Aircon. Yeah, it wasn't a good experience. No. <laughs> no. That wasn't my fault that time. It might have been someone else's fault. It might be this time. <laughs> uh, because I've had to explain the rules from memory because I'm too lazy to go and get my iPad. But you like engine builders. We do, yeah. Yeah? Terrifying. Oh, both of you do. Yeah, yeah we both do. Um, Terrifying Mars is my favourite, so... Yes, I like that. Mm -hmm. So and this... she likes them because she wins. <laughs> <laughs> I like anything I win. <laughs> So this one, um, not in, I know you, don't, you weren't that keen on Imaginarium, but it reminds me of that in the sense that your engine's changing. So like in Terraforming Mars, you're building your engine, you know, and it, it just keeps getting bigger. And then by the end, you know, end third of the game, you're like, I can do so much. Whereas this one, it's more like managing an evolving beast on a conveyor belt and choosing when to push things in because you want that more than the one that's going to come out. And it, I liked in my in my first few plays the cards that let you usually locations that let you change the order of your characters so you can go oh well I've been back there or I'll put a two pointer down there because I know it's uh, near the end it's only five rounds. Okay. Um, so we'll give it a go. Then we'll we'll get get your wisdom and yours. <laughs> so much wisdom. And I'll say some words. Be your wisest video <laughs> ever, Nick. Be, it will be my wisest wow. video ever. Um, ask regular viewers. <laughs> well, no, we have a lot of wisdom. Mark's not here, so that's good. We've got we've got no one to abuse, so I'll probably take the abuse today. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. The rats are the rats are happy, and just been cleaned, so we're happy. And oh, awful wedding photo of me there. And uh, yeah, we'll be back at the end, and I'm predicting a Fiona win. Yeah, I'm predicting an Amy win, like always. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to predict a Fiona win. Oh, thanks. Yes, I thought we were all going to predict. <laughs> we're all going to predict the person to the left. Uh, oh yeah, was going left this round. My bad. <laughs> so we have finished with, uh, that's my past pile, which only netted me 10 points compared to this one, which netted Amy. A 16 in the end. Past. I thought you got 18. No, I got 17. Ah, past winner. My past is the greatest. You own yeah. the past. You often have nothing I wanted in the future. Yeah, I have no future for a lot of the games. And my present was rammed with rubbish, so the game is an accurate reflection of life. Uh, so it's quite close, eight points between me and last and Amy in first. So you were right with the prediction, Fiona? Yeah, Fiona's. I won the, the predicting game. How did you feel in your first play? This isn't my first play, it's a bit of a cheat on your first play. <laughs> but it's your two's first play. It's good, good combination of drafting and engine building. My engine in the middle came to a complete stop, unfortunately. <laughs> First two rounds, I was well ahead, but yeah, you suddenly lost the entire middle row. Couldn't couldn't get the cards yeah. later in the game, but I like the combinations and how you have to keep changing changing it up as things move move along. Yeah, 
And there is, I guess, there is a bit of luck from this, but you get to control the kind of to a degree. You can choose which ones you want, which could mean you're going to push one through that you, hopefully that you want to. I um I got the kind of friends and foes I wanted. Um, I think my b biggest complaint, and it's it you got to bear in mind it's a prototype. So all the these ones will be wood. These will be punch out tokens rather than stuck on things. And obviously the cards won't be in sleeves and just paper but i think although this makes it smaller in the box it's a bit faffy so we ended up putting tokens on instead of turning them because as you can see i just knocked it when i turned and i just wonder whether the board might have been better it didn't even just a board in the middle with spaces off the top because you don't yeah. have to tap these so it could just be a small board for just your middle row with little arrows above and below to indicate events and location would solve that but it's a minor issue Anyway, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, Gameplay-wise, I really liked it. I went for a strategy that focused on neutral characters, so every time I activate a neutral character, I could steal more stuff from my future, which is why my future never had anything. <laughs> um, it seemed to combo quite well, and I particularly like the fact that you have a few cards that let you swap the order of your characters around, so yes. I could throw the ones which were worth more points away quicker Yeah. Um, to really bolster my pile of endgame scoring. Yeah. This is the worst game I've done for Danger, which may be why I lost. <laughs> but um, I think I lost uh, one point and a lot of resources, but it did cost me one point because I got a six Danger, and I forgot to keep the cards that let me combat Danger, <laughs> or let me d recycle my swords for more points. Um, but actually, it's not to be as feared as you would expect yeah. coming in. And you made a lot of points in the events from your danger. Yes, so. yeah. I, I My pile was big, but it was mainly events, which kind of I needed to be further ahead during the game. Um, so, yeah, but I, I'm the same. I've played it a number of times now. I've played it at two. I've played it... At, have I played it at four? I, don't, I think I've played it at two and three, but a lot of the rounds can be done simultaneously. Um, the only one that really... The drafting has to be passed around... Um, and the actions might affect other people, but it's not that in your face. I think I stole from each of you once. Uh, I stole some hate from you. You stole once. some hate, some I danger. Wasn't mean to anyone. Yeah. No, you were. For once. You were just <laughs> in your own little world of disaster. How does the drafting work for two? Is it the same? It's exactly the same. So you you start with five cards. You choose one to go into your future. You pass two on to the left or the right, depending on the round. Until you get down to two cards. When you get down to two, you choose one to keep, and the other one is discarded for one of the rewards on the bottom, which is known as favour. Um, I probably overdosed on time this time. I think time's been something I've been well aware of in the past ones. Um, I always felt like I didn't get enough, but perhaps I over-focused on that in this game, um, because I am the most experienced, but also last place. Well, I think that might be my best score. So I was probably playing Moran, Moran's Children and Animals. So, yeah. But, yeah, good first impression. Yeah, looking forward to playing it some more. For me, it's, it's had legs because, like you say, you focus on new, neutral characters. There is, yeah. you might get the odd duff one that you don't want to. And I suppose, I suppose if you played more with the same people, like you could have seen that I had one that was for two foes. So you ditched me with, every, you know, the last two cards weren't things yeah. that I could use. You can definitely kind of not hate draft a hundred percent, but there's an element of you can do it a little bit strategically. Yeah. So, um, so it's had the legs as well. Mm -hmm. So that is a thief's fortune on uh, Kickstarter right now, and my uh, preview video should be coming in a day or fifteen. No, it'll be quicker than that. And it's a thief's fortune, not a thief's misfortune, uh, as they cleverly and confusingly renamed their old, the first Kickstarter. So this one is a Thief's Fortune. They've come back, uh, tidied up. The, the board is now much more of a presence. Um, this is an option for a more advanced mode as well. So there's, there's a couple of things you can do um, to change up the game. And, and this will bring more player interaction because this will be common, a common future that you can take from. And then if, you, if you're the one who empties it, you can come in. So yeah, cool game. Uh, we'll see you next time on... Board deck and shaky hands.